Does anyone have Alka-Seltzer right now? Because I think I really need to alleviate this disgusting, wretched nausea I have right now. Let's get into this. Say so you ready for the smoke? I don't want no smoke, but I ain't turning none down. Did you really f your cousin? She pulled me to the side and said, baby, that's your cousin. I ain't about to stop. What? Like, is you really like that or are you just... I want to stick my whole tongue in this <laughs> head. I want to fuck her ass hole in my mouth, stick my whole tongue and then I twirl it. I got a big, long ass tongue. Can I see your tongue? When? <laughs> no. Hey, you lick her feet. I'm about to feed her. Ooh. We about to make her tap in this. Ooh. I'm talking about bend over. Ooh. Hey, stand up on your toes. Ooh. Hey, lock your it's knees. A, it's hey, a baby, breathe through your nose. Oh my God. So after watching this preview, my initial reaction, like the majority of the people watching this video, was the feeling, the urge to projectile vomit at the thought of someone doing all the sexual actions Kevin Gates just detailed for us on his cousin. That was my initial reaction, right? Quite normal. But after that passed, my next reaction, my next instinctual feeling was to roast the heck out of Kevin Gates, right? Not only for making my stomach turn, not only for making banjo music automatically play in my head, but for being dumb enough to proudly share this kind of information with the public. Now, I've been saying this for quite a while now. Not all information is meant to be shared with everybody. A lot of current celebrities, heck, even a lot of normal people, right? Quote unquote normal people of my generation, right? Tend to love to say, weird things to random people, right? You can look at the bird app, Twitter. You can look at Facebook. You can look at Twitch. You can look at YouTube and all these other social media platforms, right? TikTok. People love to share weird and disgusting things about themselves that back then was not normal, right? And what I mean by back then, I mean like seven years ago, right? I don't mean like back in the 1950s, right? I'm literally talking about like seven years ago. Like you just look at the app, you look at these celebrities you look at all the people doing the sharing irrelevant disgusting information about themselves right so that's why i try to hold celebrities and people to this kind of standard because not all of this information is meant to be shared so that's why i wanted to roast them right primarily because of that and this isn't the first time that kevin gates you know openly admitted to smashing his cousin right i mean he did this he mentioned this before back in again social media a couple i think it was a few years ago right but actually hearing it from his mouth in such a graphic and detailed way just made everything come to life right because we all know it's still disgusting when someone tweets or when someone puts something on instagram that's controversial like you know smashing your cousin it's still very disgusting right but actually hearing him say it with such like energy and such like passion right that makes it so much worse but here's the thing i'm glad i stopped myself from making the video just watching the preview right so i decided decided to watch the full interview he had. And I think for the most part, the interview was pretty good because it made me aware of things that I didn't know about Kevin. It made me understand why maybe he went and smashed his cousin, why he was doing so many messed up things. It put everything into perspective. It gave us a little sneak peek into Kevin's life. But one of the things that stood out to me was this clip. It hurt too. No. Yes. I don't so every relationship you go in, hey, let's be honest. My, my mama said pussy. <laughs> my dad was the only man that she ever loved. Watching him basically say that his mom sold herself and it, it really gave the perspective I needed on Kevin. He's sharing how tough his life was growing up. And, and you know, when you grow up in such a tough environment or such a messed up background, right? You start to understand why people start to do the things that they do. So this isn't, this video isn't really for me to go roast Kevin or for me to really like crap on him because I think you really need to go watch the whole interview. I'll probably link it in the comments or in the description, go watch it, right? Because I think it'll give you a perspective on why Kevin Gates does the things he does or behaves in the way that many of us find so controversial. And tell me what you think about this, because I know some of you already knew that Kevin Gates smashed his cousin. Like, what do you think about it? Can you recover your reputation from everyone knowing that you smashed your cousin? But guys, I'll leave you with this. I'll leave you with some wise words from Kevin that I found in the interview that I think it's worth for everyone to hear. Doing suicide, what would you tell them right now? Um, I've been through the worst of the worst. 
like the worst of the worst. And no matter what you've been through in your life, no matter what, it's not about what you're going through or what you've been through, it's what you overcame. It's always light at the end of the tunnel. It's always like, 